Hi everybody, it's Kayla and welcome back to The Sims 4. Let's build a- what are we doing? Let's build a house in The Sims 4, a Mediterranean mansion. Um, we're built. We're building a house in The Sims 4. So today we're gonna start furnishing this place, which is a whole beast in itself. There are a lot of rooms, it's a pretty big house. And to be honest, I'm not sure where to begin. I have a theory though, hear me out, right? I realize that bathrooms are like the most boring and worst part of furnishing houses ever, but I think I want to do the bathrooms first because I want to do like the bathrooms and the upstairs hallway because they're like really easy rooms to furnish and then you get a bunch of stuff done and you're like, wow, I've made so much progress on this build, but you just made the same bathroom five times. Like that's what I want to do first, but I at least feel like I've accomplished something and then we can do the kitchen I think is my plan. Let's just do it. I always make all the bathrooms in my builds the exact same, by the way, which is maybe kind of dumb, but like, <laughs> that's just the method that we've been going for. I also think I'm gonna make this into a half bathroom. I feel like that's a good concept. Oh, and weird thing, you're gonna hate this. I, uh, <laughs> I always furnish entire rooms without ever doing the wall coloring until the very last second. Like, the last thing I do is the wall coloring which seems to bother a lot of people on my stream, but I've warned you in advance, okay? But I just, I don't know why I do that. I think it's because it's really easy to like furnish a room and get a concept and a vibe for what you want without having to like let the wall color affect that and dictate it. Oh, why does it clip like that? Hold on, bb.moveobjects on. Yep, nope, maybe like up two. Is that dumb looking? Is that dumb looking? Yeah, that's dumb looking. That's fine if it's right there. I mean, the other mirrors are that high up. That one's so high up. Why are they all different heights on the wall? I'm sorry. We're gonna use this mirror. <laughs> but I'm also gonna make every single bathroom the exact same, mostly as far as like color scheme and decoration goes. Because let's be honest, <laughs> it doesn't need to be fancy, okay? It's, it's a half bathroom. They're all pretty generic looking as it is. I don't know. Like, I just want them, I want to get it over with. <laughs> See, that looks cute. And maybe we'll put like something on the wall. What is that? I never use this painting, like literally ever. Still life with apple and pitcher and books and bottles and flowers. <laughs> I never pick up this painting. I don't know why I, I never go for it, but I kind of like it. I, you know, get a still life in your bathroom, go for it. Maybe like a bathroom cabinet there. That's a nice, decent sized, small little half bathroom. I'm gonna use this wall coloring too, because I think it's nice and simple and good. And then we'll call it a day. <laughs> All right, this bathroom is bigger, so I'm gonna put a, a shower in here, I think, although it is, it's a weird shape. I don't know, I don't know. Ooh, wait, I love, oh, those curtains are nice. Okay, <laughs> I get too excited about the dumbest things in this game. So we're gonna use those. I wish that there was a shower that was better suited to my needs in this situation, because I want to use this one, I think, but like the colors on it are not good. Although that kind of works with the green. We can do that, we can make that work. And then we'll put a toilet. That's so weird. This is such a weird bathroom. I don't know how I want to do it. Ugh. I guess the toilet could go there. That's not blocking anything. It's so strange. I don't, I don't like doing weird shaped. Like I always find that like the longer, skinnier bathrooms are so hard to do. And this door's in a really weird place, which makes it, I'm just gonna make it the exact same as the other one. You see, that's the thing about bathrooms. <laughs> Super easy to do. Okay, bathroom's done. <laughs> and that's the whole first floor, finished. Oh, these rooms are so big upstairs. Also, I don't know how to put curtains on that. Some of these, like, windows are so big, I never know how to do curtains on them well. Wait, is that a master bathroom? Yeah, I didn't put a door into it, that's my bad. But yeah, again, curtains? Who needs them? This is weird because I wanna have, I don't like putting sinks underneath windows because I like to have mirrors above a sink. So it's very rare that I'll put like the counters there cause there's, you know, there's not a mirror in front of the sink. How are you supposed to live your life like this? I also, I hate this. I, mm. A sister is struggling, you guys. I'm sorry, I don't know why I said it that way. Are you glad that you're here to witness my pain? Does that look cool? I know it's kind of clipping, but like, Overall, does it look cool? Cause I kind of like it. I also kind of want to raise it up. I don't know, I get some interesting vibes from this. Oh, it's such a weird shape. It's not gonna work like this, is it? I mean, I can still have two sinks here. They can be two standalone like pedestal sinks. I just wanted to have like double sinks in the master bathroom cause it's a master bathroom. I realized that I'm taking this so seriously and it doesn't matter, I know, I'm, I know, I know. I just, <laughs> there's a lot of pressure to have a nice looking build when you're doing a let's build on YouTube, okay? How about that, is that a look? 
I'm taking this too seriously. And there we go. Stupid master bathroom is done. Okay, the layout of this one is weird too because there are so many windows and it's so small. So that doesn't help. But I think I'll just put one shower in it and a toilet. Okay, I kind of like this with that shower with the texture on it. Isn't that like fancy and beautiful? <laughs> okay, that's fine. See, don't you feel better with the bathrooms decorated? Wait, can I make it weird? Can I, can I make it weird? I kind of want to make it weird. I like that better. Oh, it looks so good. Okay. So bathrooms are done and we've made so much progress now. We've furnished five rooms. I was gonna do the hallway, but I don't feel like it. So I'm gonna go to the kitchen first because <laughs> this is gonna be a kitchen area sort of here. And I think there's gonna be like a breakfast nook area over here, but I might make it into a bar to be honest. We'll see what I decide on, but I, I kind of like the vibe. I'm thinking just these counters, like some standard ones with a like dark wood, dark countertop because then we can put a fun backsplash. And that's the only reason I built this house was to have a fun backsplash. Oh my god, I want to do it. Oh, I want to do a round island. I don't know how well a round island fits in this build, but I kind of want, I want to, I want it like this. And then I want bar stools around here, but it's not in front of the window perfectly. Oh no. Does that bother me? If I put a big plant there, maybe it'll offset it. That's fine. See, we get some weird bar stools. So they, they like snap into place there, but I want a third one like this. I feel like it looks good. I don't know if I want these bar stools, but we'll change the colors on them and see if we can find one we like. Honestly, that red is kind of fun. I'll see what I put as the backsplash and then we'll decide. Cause I kind of wanted to use like a jungle adventure one, to be honest, but I don't know if I want to use like, cause how, how spicy are we getting with this build? Okay, like, <laughs> do I want to have red walls? Cause we could always go for like more of an orange color or like this one's a little bit more toned down. There are still red in it so that we could pull that out. That's kind of nice. I said, how spicy are we going with this? I kind of like this one with the yellow. I mean, there's gonna be cabinets, so it won't be as like disgustingly obvious. Put a column there to like end it. We'll see, I can always change it, we'll see. See, there isn't like that much yellow showing. We could also use the taller one and then there wouldn't be any yellow showing, but I don't know if I like the super high because the backsplash is kind of busy. I kind of like it with the yellow. I also think I'm gonna raise up all these things because hear me out. Although, wait, 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 this is a big kitchen. If I do it like this, I could put, <laughs> I like to use this thing because it, it looks like a built-in cabinet. Doesn't that look nice there? I think I want to use that. Okay, so we won't raise up, we're not, yeah, not gonna raise up the cabinets because it's easier to make the, the fridges fit nicely underneath them if you raise it up one. But this way I can have this cabinet built in there. I mean, I guess it could be like a different height. It doesn't matter that much because it's like a built-in, so it doesn't, have to be the same height as them all. Or I could just use the smaller fridge and then have it not be an issue at all. See, smaller fridge is the way to go, actually. <laughs> I like the idea of the sink being directly across from this island, because it like, I don't know, the symmetry is so nice. Although that could be a good spot for the stove, actually. Ooh, no, that's better. Yeah, okay, nope, I like this better. <laughs> Sorry about that. False alarm, guys. I'll put this thing under there. Nice, nice stove hood. How about, well, hang on. Sometimes in real life, you'll find like a taller backsplash just behind the stove. I'm not, I kind of like that, but I also hate it a little bit. I'm going to leave it when I, while I furnish the rest of the kitchen. And then if I, if I hate it a ton, I'll go back and get rid of it. I'll give them an, a nice dishwasher. I always like fail to put dishwashers in my builds. I think because The Sims didn't originally have dishwashers in The Sims 4, I just like forget about them and don't put them in my houses anymore, which is dumb because in real life, like that's a very nice thing to have. <laughs> like having a dishwasher is like a game changer, you know, an EA game changer. And it's it sucks for my Sims that don't have dishwashers. It also comes a lot from like my, my roots in The Sims as a legacy player. <laughs> Uh, even in The Sims 4, like mostly in The Sims 3 when I played the game, I never like made new Sims and new households. I played with like the same family for years. Years is a strong word. But like I had like one family that I played for like six generations. A lot of parts of The, the Sims I never really played with, especially like cast things. I don't even like to play with cast because I never make new Sims. I always just like play with and adjust my existing Sims and their children. But then in The Sims 4, when they added that new, this thingy, this boy, Legacies, this is perfect for it because you sell your plates and then you make money and you don't have any money because you legacy challenge And so these things are like a lifesaver, but you don't want a dishwasher because then your sims will like wash the dishes So you don't give them Long story short, I don't want a dishwasher in my sims houses most of the time or I forget to put one but not this time It was a very long-winded and not interesting story <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so there we go. We've got 
beautiful little flowers there. Pro tip though, when you want to place things on counters like I'm doing here, the Sims, the all your counter objects will like snap to slots. And a lot of times you don't want them to snap to the slot that they're trying to snap to. And so if you like put it on the counter, move the counter and then put the object back, you can free place it and then put the counter back where it goes. And then it won't snap to weird places. Cause like you couldn't put these objects like where they are right there, kind of close back to the edge without the free placement. So that's my, um, my life advice for you all. I don't know what I want to put in here. Oh, I kind of like this globe thing. I don't ever put globe things in my kitchens. I mean, I don't know why you'd have a globe thing in your kitchen, but like live your dream. Yeah, look at that. I don't want it to be super cluttered, I don't think. I want like a reasonable amount of clutter. <laughs> There's that little spice rack boy that I want. The circ yeah, this circular spice rack is good stuff. Some of these objects I've noticed, this thing doesn't come up when you like filter by kitchen items. That's not in here, which is really weird to me. There also, there's a few in the base game, like there's a few of these things. These don't come up in kitchen items either. And these are very obviously kitchen items, <laughs> but they don't show up when you filter by the kitchen stuff. I don't know why they, they did that. It must be just an oversight, but kind of a silly oversight if you ask me. I wanna put something on the walls in here, but I feel like the backsplash is so busy that it kind of makes that difficult. I don't know how to do this. I also wanna put, ugh, I hate how the curtains work in this game. Sorry, I don't mean to get aggressive. I'm just upset. When you size them up, they're so big and so far away from the wall. Ugh. I guess these will work. I guess this will do. Oh, I don't even hate that to be honest. I'm sorry I was mean about it. I kind of like it. Do I need things on the walls? I feel like the kitchen's fine the way it is. I'm gonna leave it. The space of this bar area is fairly small. If I use, ooh, hang on. We'll use these matching boys here. That's smaller, so I can like scoot this bar thing out farther. Cause I wanna put counters behind it, I think. I guess I don't need to have counters behind it. Maybe if I put just like a table of sorts behind it, I think that helps. And then I can scoot this back a little bit, not a ton. And I'll use the matching bar stools over here. Ooh, that's good stuff. Doesn't that look cute? Maybe a different table. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going through phases. It's weird because when I'm building by myself, obviously I have the room and the ability to change my mind like a ton. And then when you come on and you build on like a video or on stream, when you change your mind like that, it's kind of embarrassing when you're like this, wait, no, this, wait, no, th this instead, this, wait, <laughs> wait, this. <laughs> And then I feel kind of dumb about it, but obviously like when you're building, I mean you make changes and you realize some things look better than others. I like that. That's good. Recently I've gotten big into floor lamps as ways to fill space. <laughs> I feel like a, a good old floor lamp is definitely a, a win in a lot of situations. I don't know what's gonna go over here. This room is so big. Maybe this is a, the wrong floor lamp for me. I like this one a lot. It's plain and simple and like looks pretty good. I also tend to you. where is it? This one. This one I use all the time. I like the base of it a lot. See, that's nice looking. And I'll put like a thing on the other side. <laughs> I don't know what kind of thing. Uh, like a, a weird thing. Like, a, I don't wanna put like a pig. I feel like the pig isn't super fitting for this, but I don't know, maybe a steam, we'll put a, you know what? I'll put a steamboat. That's too far back, my bad. I don't know why this house in particular has a River Queen paddle wheel boat, but let them live their dream. <laughs> I don't know what to do about this. I still want a table back there, but none of the tables I'm picking seem to fit nicely or look good. I guess that's fine. I mean, I basically just want it there so that I can put like, I don't know, some juice on it, but I'm afraid the room's gonna look kind of cluttered. I mean, it doesn't look cluttered, it looks good. I know there's some stuff in the base game that could be good there. Like, uh, I don't know, where is it? Is it under this? Maybe it's under the kitchen set thing. I don't know where anything is. I mean, I don't think I want to use that, but that's an option. Oh, I also want, hang on. I wanted to put this like there. I'll change the color in a second. But I was thinking more like this thing would look good on this table. Maybe like this. Just a couple little decorations, you know? Nothing super fancy, but something. I want to put a plant next to it, but I don't want to, I guess I can, I can double up on this plant, can't, no, I shouldn't. I use the same plants over and over again. I really like this plant because it's kind of skinny and also cheap. So I use it in like all my builds like everywhere, <laughs> but I don't want to use the same thing over and over again. Let's try and branch out with our painting choices too. <laughs> I never do that. I always use the same ones over and over again. Can I use this? No, I always do that. Stop it, Simsy. Pick something new. Like, you know, we've been using our still lives around the place. <laughs> we can pick something else exciting. Like, I never use stuff like this, but I feel like this jazzy guy doesn't really fit in here. This is all blue colored. This is just dumb. I like this boy a lot. I think it's fun to put him in houses because it's so weird looking. It's just like a person. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's just grandpa when he was young. 
Yeah, don't, it's just, it was grandpa when he was young. This could be grandpa when he was young. I wanna put grandpa in the house. Wait, wait, where can grandpa go? I'll put him somewhere for sure. Ooh, 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 maybe this thing. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's cute. Okay, I like that. Actually, a lot. The room looks good. I'm gonna put, I think, a doormat in front of this. Maybe make it smaller, but just a doormat to kind of like separate it. Okay. I like this room a lot. I don't know what's put on the walls though, as far as wall coloring. I could just use that same like plain beige color I've been using. I know I use this in like all of my builds, so I, I apologize for that, but I just find that this wall is really nice and basic so that you can do other things with the colors in the room. The yellow kind of works because there's the yellow on the walls underneath the sink. I think I like it. Like genuinely, I think I like it a lot. Let's do the entryway now. There's like a more grand door to the back than there is to the front of the house. Oh boy, okay. Let's do our best to make the entryway seem a little bit more grand looking. I feel like a big rug there of sorts could be kind of good. I mean, I could use the same one I've been using in the house, but that's not as exciting. How about this green one? That seems nice. I don't know what I'm doing. I think some wall sconces will do us good here. And I think that these seem to fit the style of the house well. Is that like a black? I don't want it to be that dark. Or this thing. This is simple, one, two. Yeah, one, two. That seems like a good choice. I like it. Good old chair in the corner kind of thing going on. <laughs> a lot of times, see, I don't know how fancy this house is because I feel like the interior is leaning towards more like family sort of style, but the front of it, there's like a fountain and rock lined driveway. Ooh, I didn't put the stairs back. That's my bad. <laughs> I, I always remove the foundation when I'm doing landscaping. I didn't put stairs back in the front of the house, but there's like a rock lined driveway and fancy fountain and I didn't move. Dang it, I've messed up in so many ways. Okay, problem solved there. I also, I wanna move a sim into this house so I can change the color of these lights because they're so yellow toned and it's ugly, but I'll do that later. Bookcase is always good to fill up space and it makes you look like you, I don't know, are cultured and, and you read and stuff. I also think that on a tiny wall, like a weird wall like this, a clock is a good way to fill up space. And it also makes you look kind of cool. Like, look, I can read an analog clock. That makes the people that live here smart. They've got analog clocks around the place. <laughs> Only smart people have traditional clocks, okay? Digital clocks are for losers. I think I wanna use this fancier cabinet again. I know I used it in there. Also the wood color I have chosen is not like the nicest, but <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. Oh wait, that might be better. I don't think I wanna use that color in here though. We can use that in this room. There's nothing stopping me. Although I kinda of like that. I might use that. I'm gonna try and center it more with the door and get a big fluffy leaf plant thing. I love this plant so much. I use it everywhere. It's such a good space filler and it's pretty and it's nice, and I, I just like it a lot. So I think the mirror is a good option above that table because like you always need a mirror in your entryway so you can like check yourself before you leave, put like your keys on the table, you know, it's the perfect spot. <laughs> I think too much about these things and I try and justify it and there's no need. I feel like everyone here agrees that we can have an entryway table and I'm like, okay guys, we should have this because you need it for keys and you know, all the cars that our, our Sims have, we definitely need some entryway tables for them. Okay, there's like a matching painting to this that's more of a landscape, there you go. It's infuriating though, because these are the same painting, are they not? Same frame, same color scheme, you know, obviously a pair, but this one has three swatches and this one has six. So that's kind of annoying. I also don't know what to put here. This would be like your classic, like, I don't know, just get a bookcase for me. <laughs> but this is the study, so there's gonna be bookcases all over the place in here. Although I did wanna move this, hang on, I wanted the door to be in a different spot, oh no. I hate diagonal rooms, oh my god. Cause I wanted, is it better if it's like this? I didn't want the door to be so close to the entry. Like I don't like how there's a, like a door so close to the front door, but I don't want it to be centered cause it kind of ruins the vibe. I'm being so picky, I realize that by the way. I want it to be like in the, in between. I want it to be in between, I hate diagonal walls. Cause I wanted to put bookcases all along the back of this. I don't know what to do. If I made it into a hallway. Oh, there could be a weird hallway for it. I think a weird hallway is like absolutely justified. I kind of like it. It doesn't feel as bad as like a normal one tile hallway because it's diagonal so it looks a little bit bigger. I like genuinely think this is fine and kind of cool looking. It splits it off better. We'll get like a coat rack next to the door, you know, to fill up that space. Oh, that's fine. I like it. I like it. Oh, we did so good. I think I want to furnish the study now. <laughs> I, I'm all excited about it, so I want to do it. Let's figure this out. I know I wanna use bookcases. How well do they fit? Oh my God, they fit perfectly. This is so good. This is so good. This is the best day of my life. Like quite honestly, <laughs> the best day of my life. We'll get some, I don't know, freaky yellowish toned curtains. Is there a better 
tone that matches maybe the orange this house can we've been using orange in this house we'll make all I'll make it work I kind of like it guys I I don't know this is weird with the orange I never use orange in my sims builds but I feel like it's like working in this one obviously chess table necessity gotta get that in there I never use these chairs outside I always use like these chairs outside instead but these are like objectively so much nicer I'm gonna start using these more wait a minute hang on <laughs> I'm gonna use these more often I think these came in an update like a little bit after the game came out so I just adjusted to using these and never picked any new ones I wanted to use those chairs but that's not gonna work is it <gasps> Ooh, that works with the freaky orange <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm too excited about this. I don't know where the desk needs to go. I guess just in front of this window. That's a nice spot to have a desk. Like, look, your desk sits there facing out at like some pretty palm trees and a fountain. This would be a good spot to work. It's official. Lil Simsy is jealous. They can get a fancy chair though. Is that like too fancy? No, it's never too fancy. Especially not in this build. <laughs> I really enjoy this. Oh dear. Why is that lamp so big? What are the stack of papers? No, that ruins the vibe. It definitely ruins the vibe. Maybe even just like a file. I like that. That's like a simple clutter. Obviously they're busy. Can I use that still life painting? <laughs> Wait, that's a good spot for the still life, okay? I'm gonna put the clock on this side. I mean, again, smart people have analog clocks and then they'll know what time it is so they can stop work because they, they obviously don't have a clock on their PC. You wouldn't, they, see they're, they're actually opposed to digital clocks in this house, so they need to have analog ones everywhere to know the time. Put a nice chair so they can like cozy up with a book, you know? Not that chair, oh boy. This chair will work. For some reason it looks kind of stiff and like not the sort of chair you'd want to cozy up with a book in, but we're gonna put it there anyway. And a sunflower. Think about how much joy that sunflower will bring them. Okay, I think that the study is done. I'm trying to decide, I wanted to make myself finish the whole first floor today in this video, but I feel like that's a bad idea. I might do the hallway though. I think that's a reasonable choice to make. I mean, it seems small enough and like it wouldn't be a huge issue to try and furnish. I say that, watch me regret it, but. Oh, that's a nice rug. Can I put that over there? Is that too big for the space? Or can I put it like here? Maybe it's better for the space if it's smaller. I like that rug there. I think that's nice. I was gonna make that into like some sort of study nook with it with a desk, wasn't I? But I might put the desk over here now and I could just put chairs in there. I don't know, we'll figure it out. You want like a comfortable chair, but I also want it to be cute, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> Cause like this, not comfortable or cute actually, so never mind. Like this chair it seems to be both. I might just use that one. It looks like a dining chair, but <laughs> I don't care. I take these things way too seriously. Also this hallway does not have to be fancy and you already know I'm gonna try so hard to make it so fancy looking and it just isn't necessary. I also wanna put a rug, like I wanna have a rug underneath the desk and I want a rug over here too, but I don't want to clash too much. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, that seems to be fine. Look, they can have like postcards. They'll hang up postcards. It's gonna be so cute. And there needs to be more on the walls here because the window is so small. Like, I don't know what to put there. Maybe I should put the desk over here instead. That's reasonable, actually. I don't know why I was opposed to that in the beginning. This isn't, like, bad at all. <laughs> we'll get, like, a, a, you know, a nice spicy man calendar. It's a good, like, study note. This is where the grandma does most of her work. <laughs> Called it a spicy man calendar. Oh, someone needs to stop me. I should get off this video. I'm thinking, like, what if there's, instead of a couple chairs, I put, like, a smallish couch? I like that. See, this feels reasonable to me. I also, I like that color, but the woods don't match. I could make this lighter. That's darker. Why does the, wait, this swatch is darker than this swatch, but they're light. I don't understand. Ugh, The Sims 4 is so dumb. I wish that we had more circular rugs of that size. Because the other rugs are too small. Anybody else's grandparents have like a million photos above the stairs? I feel like this doesn't fit the style of a house though. Like all that like photo clutter. Maybe these. It's like that vibe of a million photos above the stairs, but it's not actually a million photos above the stairs. I think I want a column as well. I can pull off having columns like this, I think. I think that helps the room a lot. These are some like family heirloom photos that they've got on the walls. I mean, it is grandma's house, so like naturally they've got some family heirloom photos. <laughs> I think that upstairs hallway is done. I think that's nice. It's a good size, it's reasonable, it's decorated, it's functional. I think the color scheme is kind of a lot, to be honest, but I'm trying to make this house interesting. I think it'd be better if this was like closed off somehow. You know what I could do? 
Would it be better as a laundry room? Frankly, I'm embarrassed. I am. I'm embarrassed. I need to do laundry, by the way. This is just reminding me that I have laundry to do. This is not helping. I mean, this is fine. I, like, it's probably better this way. I know it kind of sucks that I should use this rug more often. Anyway, it, it kind of sucks we had to like change the whole thing, but I definitely think the laundry room is a good way to go. And so like, yeah, it's embarrassing that we have to change all of our work last minute like this. However, we can get like some fun tiles on the walls. Oh, maybe not everywhere, at least there. And it, it's functional, the house is more functional. I also have been recording this for an hour. I was gonna make it a short video. It is not short, <laughs> my bad. Okay, I believe though, <laughs> that's all the work that we had to do today done. We like furnished like the right side of the house. <laughs> we still have five rooms left to do. Uh, we have the dining room here, the living room here, and then three bedrooms, but we're getting somewhere. But on that note, I'm gonna cut off. I'm sorry the video is so long. I'm sorry to future me editing this, the video is so long. But make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow and also next week for the hopefully last part of this house. We'll see. Bye everybody. <laughs> Why, I, an hour? Lil Simsy, you, I'm an idiot.